I remember a parable, an African parable that says, when the farm owner is slow in catching the thief, the thief will turn around and accuse the farm owner of stealing. With that, I say, a, a, a hard morning to you guys out there. Bini City, the capital of Edo State, a state in south south of Nigeria, yesterday was on fire. Yesterday was on fire. Allegedly, two people died. One was a police officer and the other one was a citizen. And many, many injured. What happened? Obaseki and his boys. I don't know if those boys were supporters of the of Obaseki, if they were members of PDP, or if they were just talks or vigilante. We just don't know. But information reaching us that these guys sent by the governor went to the airport to block the two entrance to the Benin airport. Why did we say that they are Obaseki boys? These are the reasons. One, there was no member of PDP at that set time that was using the airport, whether coming or going. No member of PDP. So, how come the PDP sympathetic group or PDP a militant wing or PDP talks or PDP area boys? How come they have gone to block the airports? You see, the PDP boys cannot block the airports to stop theirs member from leaving Benin or coming in. The only reason for the PDP talks to go and block the airports was either to stop the APC team from leaving or coming into Benin. Remember, this is not the first time it is happening. And that is why we are hitting our chest to say, yes, Obaseki has done it before on two occasions. Remember, he told Oshomore, you dare not come to Benin because I am the, the the number one citizen of Edo State. And there was also a Senate member too that was also blocked from entering Benin. I think it was the the military that escorted that guy out of the airport. So it's not the first time. That's 1.2. The PDP boys would not go and block their own members. No. They went there to block an opposition that was coming in to Benin. And who were this opposition? Don't forget, the police that died was attached to Monday Okwebolo. Don't forget, he is the flag bearer for APC, for the gubernatorial race. He is the flag bearer. So what does that tell you? The people that were coming were APC team, APC group, or APC politicians. So definitely, the PDP has nothing to do at that point of time in that airport so what they went there was to stop them from entering that is one two a company monday Opebulu was former former deputy governor philip shaibu don't forget philip shaibu have come out openly and said that he's voting for homeboy and the homeboy he said was Opebulu. I want to let you guys know that these two parties, APC and PDP, are all the same. They are all the same. They are all... They believe that might is right. And that is why we are begging you guys out there. Let's jettison all of them, APC, PDP. Let's throw them away. They are good for nothing. We have a party now that will make a difference. A party that is people-oriented. A party that is for the papa, mama, and picky. A party that is people-centric. A party that people comes first. And that is what? Labour Party. And who is their flag bearer? Olumide Osaibovo Akbata. He is the man of the people. He is the man for the people. He is the chosen one. He has gone around campaigning, talking to the people. As a gentleman, he is not rising talks 
like Obaseki, to be able to get them to 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 do mayhem or to stop opponent from entering his own state. And that is why we are telling you guys out there, please, Olumide Osaibovo. Akbata is the man that we should look out for. On that day, he will not be on the pilot, on the ballot, but the symbol of labor will be there. And the symbol is Papa, Mama, and Peking. So September 21st, when we go to vote, let's look out for Papa, Mama, Peking. Or Mama, Peking, Papa. Or Peking, Papa, Mama. As long as Papa did there, Mama did there, Peking did there, now he will go vote for. So, like what I said, Felix Shaibo was also with Opobolo. They were coming from Abuja. Don't forget, eh? The court, the Abuja court. That is how to know how Obaseki has 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 been able to the the degree how Obaseki has has pushed that state into mode. That same court delivered three judgments that same day. This the the Abuja High Court delivered three judgments that same day. I will learn that. So in, in, in that court alone, Obaseki had close to seven cases here that they have not even touched. Oh, I've, I've never seen a man who likes trouble so much like Obaseki. You see, and now he's beginning to fall in his own interests. Why? Because he's desperate. I remember when South Africa was hauled, there was a clergyman, Bishop Desmond Tutu. South Africa was hauled. And he was asked, what is happening? Killing every day in South Africa. What is it? When will we get peace? You know what he said? He said, because the killing is hot now. The killing is on now. It's a sign that the peace is near. Because Obaseki is desperate now. Running Eta Skeeter. The desperado of Obaseki could only be one thing. That Obaseki end is very, very near. According to this more Bishop Desmond Tutu, he said, he went further to explain. Apartheid is like a dying horse. It kicks hard. That is the same thing. Obaseki's regime is like a dying horse. And that is why it is kicking. Not just hard, but desperately. Obaseki had seven cases in that same court. That is the same way he had cases in the high court in Delta State. Okowa is helping him. Administer those cases here. He also had cases in Portacot. Don't forget, the wife is from there too. So they could wear, see the judges over there. He had some two or three cases in Akwaibo. Cases everywhere. Obaseki has has used the, the forest to turn to snake head. There's a penny parable say, Oh, why you work in Yenye? So the good news is because his hand is getting near, so he's desperately kicking hard, just like the dying horse. The same way, Obaseki regime is near, and because of that, we will still see more violence from PDP. You know what? The the case, most of the cases now have been pushed to the Supreme Court or the higher court or Court of Appeal. Remember, there was a case where the lower court. Was it two weeks ago said that the process that brought Aswin Igodaro was corrupt? So it was rigged. It was bad. That RP has not come out. And I know fully well that when that RP come, it will finally tell PDP that they're, they're in this coming election, they have no candidates. They don't have a candidate. They are just postponing time for the judgment day when the Supreme Court will tell them that they have no candidates. We expect more violence. That is why I said expecting more violence. Imagine when the Supreme Court, maybe in two weeks, in one month, comes out and says they uphold the rulings of the lower court that says that the process was corrupt and therefore you cannot build something on nothing. As when you go do not qualify as the flag bearer for PDP. That day is coming. But let's tell you guys what happened. So, in the in the cases in court, the Abuja High Court, uh, Justice Omo Toche, he now said that he delivered three cases. One, Shaibu, the court reinstated Philip Shaibu. 
That was one of the judgments. Two, the Olumide, Akpata, and Kadiri was also approved by the court that yes, they are good to go. And Anek has accepted it, which means Olumide and Kadiri is on the ballot box. Then the other case was by Shaibu, was he, he, he protested against Aswen Igodaro, but Shaibu lost that case because the court said Shaibu fired his case outside the 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 the, the right time to fire a case. So you know Shaibu accused Igodaro of using fake voter cards, but the court now says Shai, Shaibu fired this court this this court case outside. So that was why that case was wiped out. So a lot of people are mistaking this case of Aswe Igodaro as the flag bearer for PDP with the other case. There are two different cases. In fact, the cases in court are so many that even me I'm confused. Oh my God, which they will have in this. You, there are so many. <laughs> anyway, so APC and PDP are fighting themselves now. So what happened? The PDP boys blocked the, the two entrants to the airport that those that came from Abuja after the court case should not enter Benin. Because there was rumors that Shaibo was coming to occupy his office. And PDP has already appealed. They have already appealed and the appeal has been made. So there have been a state of execution has been made, which, which means until the result from the appeal come, Felix Shaibo has no right to go and occupy the office. He still have to wait until the outcome of the appeal. But Felix Shaibo wanted to go straight and occupy his office. And they knew he was coming. So that was why they had gone to the airports to block him, to stop him from entering the beginning. But what we learn from this story now is APC and PDP are the most useless party we have in the state because look at pdp pdp don't even obey its own law pdp do not obey its own law look apc apc is the party that has dragged us to our knee apc is the party that has dragged us to our knee just imagine for once that in Nigerian politics, there is no APC and there is no P PDP. Nigeria will be very calm. Very calm. So that is why we are telling you guys out there that the only man that can send these two politicians from these two parties, APC and PDP packing, is Osaibo Olumide Akbata. And that is why we are calling on all, everybody, Papa, Mama, Pekin, everybody, let us vote for Labour. Let us vote for labor so that we're able to send these people out of the political field. They are no good for nothing. A party that does not respect its own law. A party that does not respect the rule of law. There's this say that when there is no law, what begots a nation is anarchy. God forbid we'll reach that stage. And that is why we're calling on all to please vote for Osago Olumide Akbata. He is the man of the people. He is the man for the people. The agenda will soon be out. And you will see how he intends to pilot the affair of the state. This is where we will draw the curtain for today. I will beg you guys out there that do please share this video. Let it get to the hands of those who are perpetrating evil, who are making Edo State ungovernable. You see, when a man begins to fight with everybody, he should check himself properly. You are the fault. You are the problem. So, for those seeing this face for the first time, or this channel for the first time, this is Any TV. We are global and social commentator. We ask you to like and comment, and also subscribe to this channel. After you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload video, it comes directly to you. And now, for our returning subscribers, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, we love you, but God love you most. As it is the culture in this channel, we'll catch you when we make the next video. Until then, we'll say choose, ciao, au revoir. Adios. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye.